Hey everybody, Dr. School Saints here. I'm Jenna. And I'm Matt. And we've got Kid Koo from set 22. Yep. Because I knew Kid Koo. Yeah. And skillless. Yes. So you can get that skillless support out if you want to play this one anyway. Um, so activate main, what's per turn, you look it up to five cards on top of your deck, add up to one Son Goku Childhood or Earthling card, both yellow, vintage, cost a four or less to your hand and shuffle your deck, so instead of drawing it's searching instead, but quite open, mm. uh, although it does have the restriction on the energy cost. But by the looks of it, most of the deck isn't any higher than three anyway, so not yeah. a problem. And then Awaken Nucleus at six or less, and you have a yellow skill as battle card in your drop, which is very good. Doesn't have to be in play. Draw two cards, and your originally skillless battle cards can't gain skills for the game. Right, now I've got to go and find the Awaken side of it. Because for some reason it's buried. Yep. Um, okay, so when he awakens, it becomes Goku Childhood and Koran. Hmm. Slash Koran. How much that makes a difference, I'm not too sure. Uh, I haven't actually looked too deep into this. <laughs> <laughs> it's got two permanents. The first one is during your opponent's turn, reduce the skill cost of Grandpa's heirloom to four star balls, activate main slash battle in your hand by a yellow. So that we'll see that in a bit. Uh, the other permanent is you can't use yellow originally skillless rest mode battle cards. I oh, know you can use, sorry. Originally skillless rest mode battle cards in combos. That's very good. Yep. Free combo power from the board without losing out on attack. So auto was between when you play a yellow originally skillless battle card, choose one of your opponent's battle cards or units and cards that get your skills for a turn. Additionally, if it's your turn, draw a card. Okay, so go off during I've played this turn. For what? When you play a yellow skillless card because there will be effects that will allow you to play one presumably so if you do it during your parents turn you negate their skill and additionally if it's your turn you draw the card but uh, so we have grandpa's heirloom the four star ball as the first sr for the deck uh, so counts the dragon ball active main slash battle move one pay one yellow if the leader is a non-great ape son goku child or shenron Play one yellow skills battle card with an energy cost less than or equal to your energy from your deck or drop if you look through the deck, shuffle your deck. So that's probably why during your parents' turn you can still do your auto but not draw a card because you can play one thanks to this. And it's got act main at one. If you discard one of your yellow skills battle cards from your hand, draw two and you can't send cards from your drop to your warp for the other game. I mean you can just do that to one immediately awaken, so no overwhelm. No overwhelm, but you can you can just awaken on your first turn. I mean, yeah. You got a good trade off to me. Whether it's worth it. Uh, skillless mercenary tile. It's just a thirty k vanilla three cost. Yep. There you go. Corin, teacher of fighting. So it's a Z back card. Costs two NG plus one Z NG. It's got ten k. Deflect unique. Permanent, if you have a yellow Corrin card, oh, if your leader is a yellow Corrin and you have a yellow originally skillless battle card in play. So they, that's where the relevant comes in for the Corrin part anyway, on the leader. Yep. Um, and yellow non-grey non tape kid coups with an energy cost of 5 or more get 10k power. Why are you struggling? Because I have to say non-grey tape and then the character thing. <laughs> It's just like there's a gap where they could have put stuff, but um, it's got auto. If you lead it as yellow current and your opponent has three or more energy, when this card is played, play it to one yellow non great eight Goku with an energy cost of five from your hand. So, you get a five cost on the board. Yep. Mercenary Tal mm. has a Z battle card. Oh my god. And he. Oh, wow, it's not foot in the face. It's not, no, it, all Z-Battle cards have giant hands. Except for Corrin, actually. <laughs> they've got giant hands or they've got giant feet. Uh, so two costs on the z energy and its actual cost. Pernament, if you lead a card, is a yellow, non-great ape, Sun Goku childhood card. 
and you had a yellow originally skillless battle card advantage cost of two or more in play, reduce the cost in your Z deck by one one. So it's one energy and one Z energy to play him. Mm, that was really good. Auto limit one, if you place two cards from your hand at the bottom of your deck and KO one of your yellow Bora, yeah, Bora mm. cards, when this card is played, add up the total of three Dragon Ball cards from your deck or drop to your hand. And if you look through your deck, yeah. Yeah, look through your deck, you shuffle your deck. That's really good. I can get a four star ball, can't it? Yeah, because you would run the original four star ball in this deck because it just piles up, skills as combos. Yeah, it, uh, for those who have the old skilled as package stuff, so you got the one drop Goku that can also search out skilled as cards, put them onto the board, and search out the four star ball. Honestly, uh, if you can find a space for it, and you have it, yeah. pull it in because it is a great package of skillless decks. The other thing that I thought about was um, it, there's a Whis. I'm trying to remember what set it was. I think it was set 12? Um, oh, well, he's figuring that out anyway. Yeah. There's a Bora Vanilla, 2 cost, 20k. I remember I told you about it. That's... Yeah, he did. Uh, and then we got Upper. I can never. Yeah. Right. Upper. Upper. Oh. Uh, one cost, ten k. Yeah, I that's the countdown thing. There we go. I found oh. it. Yeah. Uh, so in set twelve, there's we a helping hand. Um, that just works with yellow skillless cards. It's originally designed for two cost ones, but it has a secondary auto that just works when you combo skills for yellow. So that again, good inclusion if you have it. Yeah, or you want to include it. Yeah. Um, so we got. Corrin, Legendary Hermit Cat, 3 cost, 5 gates, blocker, uh, auto, when your life is at 4 or less, when this card is played, shoot it from one of your leaders and gets plus 5k for the turn. Would you have to kill this thing 9 times? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> does, does he just give you a sense of you when he dies? <laughs> like, I'm about to die, take a bean. Oh, I had to. I had to throw that out there. I had to throw the cat joke. Yeah. Wow. Um, act about the <laughs> one, pay one yellow. If you lose a yellow current and you add one yellow skillless battle card from your drop to your hand, play this card from your hand. That is just a plus. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> you just wait till you're on full life and just plus. So you get a sensor bean, a blocker, and a card. Yep. For one energy. Yep. Wow. Shemron! Oh my god! Shemron Wish Dragon. Maybe it says Shemron the Wish Dragon. I don't know. Or it's me being picky. I don't know. Yeah. It just seems too. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, he's 7 cost, 25k. He's got unique barrier, permanent, discard, card attack. Standard mm -hmm. Shemron stuff. Also, if you lead a card as a yellow card with both Goku, well, Sun Goku. Childhood and Corrin, and you have three or more energy when you play a yellow upper. Yeah, uh, from your hand, you may also play this card from your hand. <laughs> Activate main, switch this card to rest mode, play up to one yellow borer from your drop. Okay, so off one card, you get three. Yeah, and you definitely want to run Bora and Upa as like four offs in the deck. Just so you can do so many combos with them. That's great. So one energy gets you. Okay. Yeah, one energy gets you three cards. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> so we've got mercenary talents, four cost, twenty k. Auto when this card is played, up to one dragon ball from you dropped to your hand, then choose from one of your opponent's skillless battle cards and KO it. I mean, you're playing yellow, so you can negate that skill at some point. Well, the leader was it? The leader did it as well. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it did. Where is he? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's skills. Yeah. So yeah, the yellow helps turn on that skill. As well as That's... just being yellow. Yep. And he's got X main limit one, pay one yellow. If your leader is the non grey take kid Q and you have a yellow originally skillless spout card with an cost of two or more to play, play this card from your hand and add up to one card from your life to your hand. So built in self awakening. Depending how early you can awaken, yeah. I say, I say built in self awakening, it's like you can early awaken, but, but I suppose that's just a phrase that's just used, isn't it? Um, yeah. Basically, it just means that you can control your life a little bit better. Yeah, and 
get yourself down to a low level to do some of, of your skills. Yeah, there we are. Sacred Water! Yep. Oh, so one cost extra cards. You've got counter attack and negate the attack. Auto limit one when one of your card's skills activates. Uh, add up to one skillless battle card from your deck to your hand and then shuffle your deck. Oh, so when you use it as either a counter or an active battle, you get a skillless. Because when one of this card's skills activates. Yeah, when it's got. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Yeah, so when one of your. One of this card's skills activates, yeah. Uh, and then activate battle, chills one of your non great A Sun Goku childhood cards, and it gets 15k power for the battle. So you can either negate or potentially out combo. Yeah. Or add, put pressure on. And then just add the skills card. And then get a, a 5k combo to your hand. That is really good. Uh, so we got Goku, four cards, 15k. Permanent, if you have four more Dragon Ball cards, then you drop the skin's dual attack. Um, auto when it's played, add up to one Dragon Ball from your deck to your hand, that's up your deck. Okay, so you've got the SR that we saw earlier. Yep. And the four Star Ball. Yep. Which you're probably going to run four of each in your deck. Well, you can only run seven Dragon Balls. Ah, true, yes. Because so you've got run... the Dragon Ball keyword, so you run three of the four star for the other one maybe because of the other one's skill yeah. and you can recycle the four star ball crazy amount <laughs> yeah you definitely want four of the heirloom just because it does so much more for the deck yeah. the four star ball is just a nice tech because it can just be 10k combo yeah and apparently very recyclable yep with the old one drop Goku and this and, 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 and Tao it's just like and the Z battle card tile that just lets you add three. Yeah, so, so yeah, you did four, yeah, and then three of that. Um, it's got active main that one. If you lead it as a yellow kid Koo that is an ape, and you have a yellow skills card in play with an end, cost up two or more. Play this card from your hand and add up to one card from your life to your hand. Okay, so. More life control. Yeah, and it's similar to tile in its play style. It's just tile gets from the drop, this gets from the deck. Yeah. I mean, if, when you play him, if you've got four more and drop, it gets the dual attack is great. So, yeah, okay, this deck has got a lot of potential. Um, upper, yeah, yeah. Uh, one cost, 1k power, auto limit one. If your leader card is yellow, non great ape, Sun Goku childhood, when this card is played, send up to one yellow borrower from your deck to your warp, shuffle your deck at the start of your next turn, play that card from your warp in rest mode. That's great because that's deck thinning gets you what you want gets the cards you want on the board and then you can just start abusing it from there yeah does it and it's in rest mode doesn't it but you can combo stuff in rest mode anyway so yeah. it doesn't matter um so we've got sr five cost goku we've got 25k dual attack auto when this card is played out to one great grandpa's heirloom from your drop to your hand choose up to a total of two of your opponent's battle or unison cards ignoring barrier Switch them to rest mode and negate their skills for the turn. Really good. It has to get the heirloom. Okay. Yeah. But you get from drop, so it's not it's, bad. Yeah. And it's got active main that one pay two. If you have an originally skills back card okay, play with edge cost of three, play this card from your hand. But you do also have that other card that can play them out. Isn't too bad. Yes. Uh. Very, very consistent. Mm. So we got the Z extra card. Uh, so it's Goku's Kamikami Ha. It's one cost, uh, one ZNG, which I think has been the same for every other one, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's got two autos. First one is when this card is placed in the battle area, choose all of your battle cards with Sun Goku in their character names, and the chosen cards get 5k power per turn. Okay, so once you've got that board set up, this is going to be vile. Mm. Because even just a 5k buff to more than two cards is nuts. It just any 5k increase just makes a huge difference on every single turn. Yeah. And then auto remove this card from the game. Choose up to one of your opponent's skillless uh, battle cards. KO it at the end of the turn. Okay. And obviously we've seen we can make things skillless. Mm -hmm. I'm playing yellow, so it's easily done anyway, so yes, it can be great. Also notice this is an SR. Yeah. Did not notice that before. The others were not SR, this one is. Shows how good this. <laughs> Had fade battle, remove this card from the game, choose up to one of your cards with Sangoku in its character name, 
and he gains 10 gain crit for the battle. I feel like this is an SR because you can run in anything Goku. Uh, I don't know because it says not say Son Goku childhood, does it? it? Just says Son Goku. Yeah. Uh, because it doesn't specify childhood. It just says Goku, which means it does count other Gokus. Yeah, and doesn't specify color of the Gokus either. Nope. Oh. That's probably why it's an SR. You can just. If you're it's using yeah, Goku it's and yellow. Anything that's got Goku and yellow, you probably splash this into. Because it just adds more to your Gokus. Yeah. That I might guess. be why. Yeah, probably. But the deck seems pretty decent in all fairness. Yeah, that Actually does. well structured. Yeah, it does seem like it could be a really good deck. Um, I don't think this is going to be a slight on deck at all. I reckon this is, is going to take off. Yeah, skills decks very much do. Or at least um, skills kiku decks have always taken off. Yeah. <laughs> so, some not as popular, but whenever there's a skills kiku, it's just like everyone's want. I mean, everyone's want to um, the Gohan skills deck. Yeah, well, that was good, that was. Yeah. But yeah. So, anyway, guys, sorry about that. So, yeah, leave any thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.